everybody. I'm doing a client session today. This is actually a gift for you, for me, for all of us. This client booked a session that he wants to donate um, to bless all of us, to heal all of us through this experience. I want to thank you so much to the client for doing this. It's really sweet of you. I love these goals. They're beautiful. This is so awesome. All right. Before I read these, if any of you are interested in exploring a session with me, you can visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. So you guys ready to find out what the blessing is going to be like today? I'm going to read this and I'm going to get started. So it says, hey, Abby, I would like you to introduce us to the elders of the Hopi Indians, supported with their guidance, the elemental kingdoms and the archangels. All right, just give me a moment here. I'm just taking this in. The elders of the Hopi Indians supported with their guidance, the elemental kingdoms and the archangels. All right. To get a feeling for their presence and energy, I would love you to start with sharing these two quotes. Slow Buffalo, a teacher, is remembered to have said about a thousand years ago, remember the ones you are going to depend upon up in the heavens, the mysterious one, that is your grandfather. In between the earth and the heavens, that is your father. This earth is your grandmother. The dirt is your grandmother. Whatever grows in the earth is your mother. It is just like a sucking baby on a mother. Always remember your grandmother is underneath your feet, always. You are always on her and your father is above. About a thousand years ago, white buffalo calf woman came to the ancestors of the Lakota, giving them a sacred pipe and a round rock. The rock, black elk said, is the earth, your grandmother and mother, and it is where you will live and increase. All of this is sacred, and so do not forget. Every dawn as it comes in a holy event, and every day is holy, for the light comes from your father. Wakan Tanka, Father Wakan Tanka. And also you must always remember that the two leggeds and all the other peoples who stand upon this earth are sacred and should be treated as such. Now I want to continue with a, an awareness Greg Brandon gave me. He was talking about the understanding of the Hopi Indians, that they view beauty as a force of nature. I would love you to share with us this force of nature, understood as beauty, and help to accumulate it, build up and share this energy through this recording in a way that will strengthen it each time it is received. I wish for a beautiful, meaningful and bright session. Wow. Hmm. So the mother energies below, the father energies above. Hmm. Okay. And to introduce us to the elders of the Hopi Indians supported with their guidance, the elemental kingdoms and the archangels to get a feeling for their presence and energy. Um, these beautiful quotes. And experiencing this beautiful force of nature and to allow this to build up each time the energy is shared through this recording. Oh man, I'm gonna relax. Okay. Oh, yeah. I see the elders of the Hopi Indians. I see Native American tribes. I see and experience that type of tribal energy. 
and it is alive. It is a living energy. And somehow our present day is lacking this living energy. And we need to remember our Native American family, our Native American brothers and sisters. And we need to remember their living energy and to call upon them for help and to welcome their living energy, their love and support of us, to welcome them into our hearts and to not be afraid to ever ask any of our Native American brothers and sisters, whether you have direct ancestral bloodline or not, we all share the same earth and sky, right? That is our grandmother, our mother, our father, our grandfather. We share the same parents. And also that reminder that even the two-legged, we are sacred too. Because I see with these elders standing here, it's not just about the Hopi Indians. It's, it feels like a, a remembrance of a very specific um, expression of, of our human family a specific identity in our human family that is very rich in its own culture and own memory. And that memory is for us. They did all of that work. They lived all those generations. They had all of those experiences. They carried the memory of it for so many generations for us, for all of us, no matter what your family heritage is even. It's to remember that we are all family and they are just as much our ancestors as our own grandmas and grandpas. This warms my heart. It's a memory too that nobody is alone in this world. It really is asking to celebrate Native American history even, in a way that is value our words and value our memory and value us in the stars and value us as part of the earth, and value us as part of your heart and soul, value us too. Let us help you. Let us help you. I feel like it's been too long since I've enjoyed this uh, type of energy exchange specifically with that Native American emanation is so earthy and beautiful and wise. And I'm placing it in my heart And there's nothing in the way of this. I've always thought, and I always felt some kind of beautiful connection with Native Americans. Like, I always felt that inside of me, like they carried a really special answer for the world that we all carry within us a special answer to the world through our cultural learning. And to share it, to help each other grow is so precious. We are so loved. They keep showing how they're watching over all of us. And it's like the eagle that flies. They're watching over all of us. There is not a judgment in their hearts about present day human world. 
There's no judgment. They come to us with open arms to hold us when we don't know what to do anymore, when we feel hopeless or helpless. And they're very true to their origins. They're very true to their connection with nature. And when we have forgotten it, when we get absorbed into a world that it's like materialism lacks spirit when we don't appreciate the way things were created and they're just manufactured now instead of built by hand it's like material things have no spirit in them so we're surrounded with kind of a dead energy but they hold the memory in their souls for us so that we'll never forget and I feel specifically the Hopi elders are there have a very strong purpose in carrying the seeds of memory and specifically of what their culture or their history what their ancestry what their bloodline um, it's it's very distinctive memory and gift of what they learned and the spirit of what they learned is always accessible to us. Always, always written in the book. They show me that there is, it's like a book of all worlds and their gift is in that book. And they carry seeds for us of the memories. And there's infinite seeds. If you wanted to plant a thousand seeds of their memories in your heart, they have a thousand seeds for you, for everybody. They have so many seeds of memory. Just ask if you want one seed, if you want a hundred thousand seeds, whatever you want. And they have those memories to fill your heart. It's like if you thirst for a hundred thousand seeds, then we have a hundred thousand seeds. If all you need is one seed, one um, reminder, we have that seed for you. To ask yourself truly, to in your mind even imagine yourself surrounded by Hopi elders and try to fill your senses with what is the feeling of a Native American vibe and just inhale and exhale that into your soul and now explore the seeds of their memories and grow a garden in your heart, grow a gar garden in your sacral chakra, grow a garden in your root, right? Grow a garden in your third eye, in your crown, in your throat, in your emotions. Grow a garden with their seeds and watch the beautiful flowers bloom and the grandmother and the mother and the father and the grandfather, they're blooming inside of you. As you can see them on the outside, they are also on the inside. They also mention about the fire is within you as well. And this is an important message because if you feel the fire has dimmed inside yourself, they show me a big bonfire and they show me that we are ready for the dance, <laughs> like around the fire but the fire is dimmed and without the fire then there is something missing here in the dance and you will feel that if the fire is dimmed inside your heart you will feel um, something is missing in your dance you will feel even incapable of dancing and they're here to reignite the fire within your heart reignite the fire in your soul because it's more than just your heart, it's, it's your soul and your soul's purpose here on earth. If you feel there's anything between you and understanding how precious you are and how precious your role is or how precious your place is in this world, let them ignite the fire. Be present in that energy, feel it. It, let it be real, okay? Let the creative experience be real for you. And know that, that you are gaining in awareness, you are gaining in purpose, you are gaining in inspiration. And they feel blessed when you reach out to them for help. They feel blessed 
than to bless us. And that the blessing goes both ways. Oh man, that's so beautiful. I want to thank you so much again for sharing this experience with all of us. Thank you for blessing my life. Thank you for blessing all of our lives. It was really nice to connect with the Hopi elders and all of this beautiful energy and even read the, the quotes that you shared. It's a good reminder. I'm going to let this energy just rumble through my energy field and let it um, surprise me and see what surprises the Hopi elders have in store for my life. I just see what, I just open the door and say, okay, I'm listening and I'm watching and I'm ready to feel and experience something of a surprise from you. And I'm thanking them already for this. And I can't wait to see what that is. Like you have to believe that when you ask, you will receive. If you don't believe, like don't even go there, okay? Because if you believe when you ask, you will receive, you will, you will receive. And make sure that your eyes are open, your ears are open, you're watching, you're, you're alert, you're ready, and you know it's going to happen whenever it's meant to happen. That this will come back and it's going to be good. <laughs> all right. Thank you all so much. I hope you all have an amazing day.